For eukaryotic cells, transcription occurs in the nucleus on DNA. To begin transcription, a transcription factor binds to a TATA box inside of a promoter. More transcription factors will bind to other parts of the promoter along with RNA polymerase II, forming what we call the transcription initiation complex. A helicase enzyme separates the two strands of DNA to allow RNA polymerase to produce mRNA by reading the DNA. RNA polymerase II starts at the start point, elongates as it makes a strand matching the DNA, and finally terminates when coding is done. In this example, the bottom strand is the template strand or the strand mRNA matches. mRNA has a few different properties than DNA, being only a single strand and only reading part of the DNA. mRNA also replaces thymine bases with uracil bases. The mRNA starts with a 5' cap, and at the 3' end, a poly A tail is formed from adenine, fully forming pre-mRNA. Splicing will occur, removing non-coding parts for the protein mRNA codes, known as introns, joining the protein coding exons together. Spliceosomes are responsible for splicing, which is made up of SNRNPs and other proteins. Each SNRNP is made up of a protein and SNRNA, and the spliceosome will then remove the introns, leaving the final product of mRNA.